Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We are investigating the the problem between uh uh between the peoples. The Sandrals and Matalis or whatever they are. Sandrali and Matals? Well whatever they happen to be. Uh we are going to re equip Um Are we going to re-equip my blasters? Against Cath Hounds, I feel like I should re-equip my blasters. 1 to 6, 12, 2 to 9, 13. So we'll take the Arcanian Heavy Pistol. And... The heavy blaster. Okay. Um, so, got a tip that I can just fast travel to locations. Um, is it transit back? Oh. Candorous. Okay. Cathounds have respawned. We just need to turn right. Matali grounds, here we go. Does Bastilla not have her... She doesn't have her lightsaber. There we go. Yes? Oh, a dead settler. Cardio package, light armor, Cassus's diary. There's a way to look at that, isn't there? Karth. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Dead settler. Oh, it's Cassus and Drawl. Archaeologist, amateur, mauled to death by cath hounds. Oh. So that's the kid. Yeah, what do you want? I was wondering if you had any more war stories. I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. What was your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, 
I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. What happened next? The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop bay, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. Who are you fighting? I don't remember. It doesn't matter anyway. That world's dead now. The exhilaration. The euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. That was some fight. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Nothing more Your for choice. Now. I'm here if you want something done right. I I like Candorous. Do you have anything to say, Vistella? How can I help? I want to talk about that dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Why? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. What do you mean by a trace? They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. It may be simply that we are sensitive to that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. What do you think they were no doing? Idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us, but when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. As you wish. We really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Yep. Alright, let's make a save. We now have to... So we found the, the boy's body. So we need to go to the Metalia State. Uh, send it at Candorous. Just really wanted to be in a kill circle, I guess. We talked to this droid before, he was not too happy to see us. That is Bargin. Pass card required. This is private property. I come on behalf of the Jedi you Council. You come from the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrils as to the whereabouts of my son, Shen.
Why are you so certain? Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrals arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. The injustices the Sandrals have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. What were they doing here? I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. At least you're efficient. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Where can I find the Sandrals? Follow their stink south of here and you shall find them. I demand action on this matter, Jedi. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible... Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandrals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. I understand you are Nevertheless, upset. my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. You sound oddly threatening for someone of your stature. <laughs> okay. Well, we just came from there, so we'll go to the path south behind us. Transition to the Sandral Grounds, unless something interesting happens. Sandral Grounds. Welcome back. Here's... I've not been here. Nowhere else to go here, either. Do a quick sweep of the perimeter before we talk to anybody. Ah, uh, isn't that curious? Albino calf hound, huh? That'll show you. Okay, we're going. Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised she went down.
Run, Candorus, run! Oi! Just let it happen at that point, man. We're not going to run and engage the albino cat, and we're just gonna go to the door. <laughs> Oy vey. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I come on behalf of the, the Jedi Council. Council. If you are here because of Shen Matale's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matale witch hunt. Cassus is dead. Cassus is dead. Then it is as we feared. You should speak to Murek yourself. He will want to question you on the details of the son's death. Murek left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Murek will meet with you there. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you have news about my son Cassus. Cassus is dead. I was afraid of this. Yet in my heart I knew it must be true. What what happened to my son? <laughs> he is a cathound chew toy. No, he was killed by cathounds. Cathounds? I, I was so certain the Matali family was to blame. But this changes nothing. My own son is dead. Why should I shed one tear about the disappearance of my bitter enemy's son? Typical. Anything to continue the feud which has become so customary to you people. I must ask you something, though it is difficult for me. My son had a diary. He is private, personal thoughts. Now that he is gone, I have nothing else to remember him by. Please, the diary means more to me than it ever could to you. I will give you a hundred credits for its return. Uh, here is the diary. You may keep your money. I need Mighty no generous of you. A little too generous if you ask me. I thank you for this. The diary is all I have left of my son. We have nothing further to discuss. Please, leave me to my grief. There. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Uh, mm. Where are you? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief and... He is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. Does this have anything to do with what happened My to father Shen? is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. I only want to find Shen Metali. You must understand that Father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Please, tell my me what has, has happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Metale. Uh... He is holding a prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Why are you telling me all this? Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. 
You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. What is the problem between your Alan families? Alan Metale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. All right, let's do it. Oh, well, that's disappointing. We'll make a save before breaking into the Sandral estate. I don't know if that counts as the rear. I would say that's the side. Oh, but it is the only option. Very well. Whoops. And let's bring the back up into pace with this too. We're here now. Let's do it. Candorous. Anything useful on the remains? Save that as we might be about to make a mistake. I'm gonna guess the mine guarding this door is what's important. But what? Okay, there's another mine. There's there's actually a lot of doors too. Let's try this one. No problem. This is what the mine was in front of? A skill too low. Yeah. What about you? Can you crack it? I'm here. Huh? Kendra, stand down. Yes? Oh, there's nothing in here. Thought for sure, because there was a mine there. Well, the droid was in front of this room. I missed. Let's make this quick. Oh, what a room to be in. I'm here. Sure. And you do not have a lot of health, Bastila. Problem. Didn't work. I'm here. What? You're very good at opening doors, Bastila. Candras. Huh? Disable that.
What? No problem. Didn't work. Yes? Pass slow, if you please. Are you Shen? Yes? Shen Matali. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? I'm here to rescue you, Rescue Shen. me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. I'll protect you. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. What if we take Rahasia with us? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. My father thinks the Sandrals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal what he has earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. It's like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> All right, there's doors across the way. Nope, fake door. Non-Pelly members are not permitted entrance. Security room, there's gonna be a fight in here for sure. We good? Ah, uh, that won't work, that won't work. I guess in the building, there's no harm in equipping my saber. Let's practice using some of this. Uh, cancel... none... How can I help? Oh, uh, never mind. Can I suggest we move on? I, I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to the large locker and get a rifle out of it. Security room... Okay, this was like control room. I opened those, right? I opened these. Yes, yes I did. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, the hallway looks clear. panel. Okay, let's take a look around. Okay, that one's empty. That one also seems empty. Oh, that's us.
we were there. Repair room. Alright, we got a couple guys in there. I don't have enough spikes to do anything to them, but it's good to know what we're walking into. I did not see... Did not see whatever her name was. Vahargia? Rahagia? Didn't see her anywhere. Rahasia? Okay. We're going to end this one here, and we're going to continue in the next one. Just working our way through. Uh, so thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and may the Force be with you. Bye-bye.